Okay, everybody. Matthew back. Uh, sorry it's been a minute. I got busy with, you know, life. So, um, I put the, together the parts that I had shown you that I cleaned up and, and whatnot. I painted them. Uh, this is the, well, not the, but this is, um, if you remember, I broke the rear end. Well, the piece was bent, then it ended up breaking. I was going to fix it, tried, failed. So, I went back to my stash, uh, got another one. I have so many of this stuff out there. Um, so, I got another rear end of mash. Um, this is the only part that I grabbed. Um, this is still the original piece. I put all this other stuff together. Uh, got it all done. Got shocks put in. You know, they look, look the part. But now, after sitting here, you can see I have the holes and stuff where the bolts are going. Uh, multiple different places. A whole bunch, bunch of places. But I'm sitting here looking at it. I don't like the... And of course, it's all fingerprinted. You can see it's all... You know, once you wipe it off, it'll come back to being... Uh, shiny looking. Um, I don't like. I think the gloss finish for this frame. Normally, I always do a gloss finish on my frames, but I don't like this. And I always do. If you look, my all my parts are always different colors. I never do this like a solid black on anything like on the bottoms I always like to have all the parts picked out so that you can see them all I don't like just like blacked out stuff but for some reason this one's just not really calling to me I, I guess I would say um, I done this color in and normally I would do it in a steel or something but I used this splash and I can't even pronounce the the first name of it, but silver or something. I have another bottle of it. I buy two of everything. Um, but, so I'm thinking I'm just going back where I got this brand from. I'm just getting all this. You know, everything, everything you see here. And just starting over. The only thing really keeping me from that is having to clean up this stupid frame again. Um, and just do this in like a flat black and just pretty much blacking all this out. Doing what I don't like doing. And then, uh, I guess the bolts and things I could put in and do like the bolt heads and, and steel or something to get those to show up. Uh, if you do it all in black, then of course the the springs here, you know, if they're black, they're not going to show up. You know, those aren't going to show up then. Um, so I I don't know. You can see the the tops of the, the shocks here slid down. I have them glued, but when I put them in, they apparently rub something back there and. It popped the glue loose and slid them down, and now they won't. I can't even force them back down. So on the next one, I have to figure out what they're hitting and and create some room for them to go down. But everything else fit. The front end seems to be um, bent together a little bit. When I put it together, I had some some issues. You can see this is a little bowed. Some issues here. I think this part was a little closer together. But uh, it all went together okay. It just you kind of had to hold this part to get that in. You can see I have holes drilled here for for bolts to go in, new bolts to go in there, um, bolts to go in here. I have places for bolts to go on the steering box. But uh, I guess I'll have to redo all that again. Motor mounts. I guess I'll need new motor mounts. Uh, these still need to be painted over. So, I, I don't know. It's something I'm, I'm contemplating, I, I suppose. So, I don't want to make this too long, so I'll probably add to it. So, I'll uh, shut up and get to thinking here.
So let me contemplate a little bit. Okay, so we're back here to the shop. We got our tote down here. So let's open it up. So you can see we got a whole. You know, it's just got truck stuff in it too, but it's just a Hudson box. Uh, this is where I got that rear end from. I don't exactly remember which bag of truck stuff it came from. But I think for this one, this is four wheel drive stuff here. Um, there's two wheel drive mixed in with it. And I think it came out of this one. There's frames and motors in there. Here's one of those truck caps, just the flatbeds. I think I was telling you guys about. Um, so I need to search through here. This is just one of the toes. And it's another four wheel drive front end. Um, more front ends and more four drive ends. And find what I'm looking for. Um, we're just, it just keeps going and going and going and going. There's more toes of it behind me. I've got bags of just. Uh, here's one bag. Flat side, yep, upside down, of course. Of nothing but just grills. Just grills, bone grills, bone grills. And rims. And of course, nothing is for sale. Uh, rims, trim, hubcaps, so let me get through here, find the, that's a long bed, find the um, parts that I need, and um, I will get back inside and we will go from there okay guys I think it's gonna be probably in this bag here I believe that's what I got the rear end out of the match so it's probably gonna be this that looks like the front end right there the cross member the A arm motor mounts um, I think it's gonna be this one right here, actually. So, I may just take this in, compare it all, and uh, I'm bringing that one out with me. There's several years here that's the same. And then they, but they do change. There's other rear ends in here that are different. So, um, they do change. Okay, you can see that that's probably a four wheel drive or something front end. I have no idea. Oh, yeah, four wheel drive. So, that's all in the same bag. So, there's four more front ends. I see their name chrome. Alright, I mean, uh, I can stay here and look at this stuff all day. Let me get what I need. Got the funny looking air cleaner. And, um, I'll get back inside. Sorry, guys. Okay, so we just got back from in and outside there. We have a, another frame, which is going to need a crap load of cleanup like the last one. 
we have, oh, we found this on workbench, a little burr. Anyhow, we found uh, a new tie rod. We'll need those clean up. A new cross to member, um, which is the wrong cross member. I needed that one. All this is for the spare tire. I just see one grab it. Oh, crap, now I go back out. Anyhow, uh, motor mounts. Have those. Only found one of these. I didn't really that was stuck to the one bag, uh, which is the little uh, tie rod end things here, which is no big deal. I can always just make those out of some some rod or something. Um, but now I have to go back out. I may look for another one. If not, I'll just make them. A, another um, steering box. A couple more of these. Um, uh, yeah, those. So we got those, and then a couple more of the um, front end, uh, which columns, those things. So we have that. And uh, I'll get that stuff all cleaned up. And I was going to say put together and just paint all once, but if I do that, then I won't be able to do my shockies. So. I'll probably just clean them all up, make new socks, and then paint everything the same color and just put it together as normal and put new socks on. And those socks look okay, I just, I don't know, don't like them, I guess. So, alright, so I'll go find this new part, and I'm going to upload this because it's getting pretty long and most people don't watch them anyway, so, um, yeah. Alright, I'll be back later with another update.